A man in Tennessee has 30 children with 11 different women, and he is 33 years old. Now, according to CNN affiliate WREG, he is now begging the state to help him, help him pay his child support. I want to bring back in Sunny Haas, and she's on the case with us, as always. And Sunny, I, I, I know, I know. Um, I, I know some of the moms are only getting a couple of dollars a month for child support in and of itself. Do you actually think the state is going to say, okay, buddy, you got 30 kids, we're going to help you? I don't think so. And I got to tell you, Brooke, you know, you and I talk about a lot of things on, on this program, and I am rarely stumped uh, and it's don't have much to say. It's a stump moment for you. But it's a stump moment for me. <laughs> I mean, I could talk to a wall, and I don't know what to say about this guy. I mean, the bottom line is, uh, you know, in Tennessee, when he is working his minimum wage job, he is supposed to give uh, 50 percent of his paycheck to the 11 women that he fathered these children with, and they are supposed to divide it equally. The problem is some of the women are only getting a dollar and 49 cents because he does work minimum wage. So just this week he appeared in court and he's asking the court to give him a break on those payments on the dollar 49 cents that he's giving to help support his children. I don't think that the judge is going to help him out, you know, and I, I was reading recently that one, one of the uh, news reports said that perhaps he needs to now do the cost-benefit analysis of birth control, and I, I think that's a really good suggestion for I this know, guy. we shouldn't laugh. I mean, the man is 33. He's young. And then back in 2009, yeah. uh, back in 2009, he only had 21 kids. Take a listen. Do you intend to keep having children? No. You're done. I'm, yeah, I'm done. I think I'm done. What made you decide that? I didn't intend to have this many. It just happened. It just happened, he says. Is this uh, a trend? Do we believe him that he'll stop? <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope it'll stop. I mean, bottom line is the state can't force him to stop. It's not against the law to have all of these children. Mm -hmm. um, and, and again, maybe he just really needs to now think about the cost-benefit analysis of, 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 of birth control because he can't afford to support these children. And I think therein lies the tragedy of this story. Now you have all of these children, 30 of them, and all these probably mothers. without the support, and all these mothers, and probably without the support that they need mm -hmm. to become, um, you know, wonderful members of our society.